Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video, we just got a bombshell report, and this is truly insane. We got email leaks going around that I want to share with you guys. We also got Dr. Disrespect. We got Robert Balling responding. We got Asmongold reacting to the situation. We got Geeks and Gamers. We got, uh, apparently, Moist Critical as well. And now, there is two sides once again. Like the video if you just want to know the truth. Dislike the video if you're happy with the lies that are going around, okay? But we're going to get right into the story. Check this out roll it that they uh large email leak just released oh really okay let's see what happened yeah basically um doc was talking to a 17 year old that he didn't know was 17 uh the message interpretations were uh interpreted negatively by people who didn't like doc to begin with at twitch and doc uh sued them because they broke data pr uh data pr data protection internal policy Holy. and also that he sued them because he still didn't want it to get out because he was worried it would still make them look bad and um yeah, what were the messages? Well, we're never going to know. Internally, the argument on our side became, why else would he be messaging someone that young, implying only a sinister perspective? For avoidance of doubt, there was no sexting as implied by- Yeah, we're gonna get down to the official Dr. Disrespect response in just a second, but it's uh, something that a lot of people were talking about, a lot of you guys were talking about, that if this is really, really real, we want to know the age of the victim. And also, there is still this question ongoing that, did Doc know about the age at that time? Doc responded, but we still that part is still not clear. Here. And also a lot of people were saying that, yeah, the reason Twitch did not come out, it, it looks bad for Twitch as well, right? The reason uh, they did not come out is because, yeah, they don't want the public to know that they were spying on Doc's messages or literally anybody messages. And this is what we were saying. As long as you got a smartphone, bro, it's over, bro. Like your privacy is done for, man. As long as you have a smartphone, people still believe that, yeah, your messages are private. Nah, man, your messages are not private. This is as big as the Area 51 situation, man. Uh, wait for it. By a former Twitch employee, there were messages, but not of that nature. So if this is true, if this is true, Doc didn't do anything wrong, really. Like, he didn't do anything wrong. Like, it, it's unequivocal. If, obviously fucking if. <laughs> what do you <laughs> yeah. mean if? What do you, you're, you're emphasizing this. Uh, d no shit if. What the fuck do you think? Of course there's an if. Duh. Read the third paragraph. The uh, messages were business related. Yeah. There's always like three sides. I say three sides. One, the left, the right, and the middle, right? Like there's always the truth, the lie. Because the truth is always somewhere in the middle, right? There's a lie, then there's a... The, uh, the the most uh, positive side, I wouldn't want to say true. The truth is like in the middle, right? But check this out, wait for this. News, we have an official statement from Dr. Disrespect himself giving the specifics around his Twitch ban. There was a Bloomberg article that just dropped earlier today making direct accusations of, uh, about him and his time at Twitch and what happened. We've had former Twitch employees talking about yeah. it. You've seen Dr. Disrespect make comments on stream and you could tell that he's visible upset he was fired from the game studio that he created insane insane yet there's been no evidence whatsoever now we have an, a, a statement directly yeah. from doc i'm reading it for the first time here with all of you so here we go uh -oh. the twitch ban hello i'd like to make a quick statement let's cut the fucking bullshit as you know there's no filter with me I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about uh, or upfront. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First okay. and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society, and I and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Damn. Our team is full of incredibly talented... Okay, so that's, that's insane, right? Because uh, apparently Robert Balling... Uh, came out. Robert Balling is the guy that worked on the original Modern Warfare 2 2009, right? The one that everybody loved, apparently. And he and Dr. Disrespect, both of them, they started the studio Midnight Society. Now, make no, make no mistake, Midnight Society and Dead Rob is Dr. Disrespect's studio and game, okay? And yesterday, apparently, they told him to fire, uh, to just leave, right? So they fired him, but then Dr. Disrespect says that uh, he apparently, it was like a mutual decision, and then we, we just got Robert Balling. He responded by saying, if you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promise to only act on facts, and I did. 
So that happened. Robert Balling is not want to work with him. Dr. Disrespect released this statement and he is, uh, he edited this one out, uh, I believe three times. Last edited, you can see that and everybody's going uh, in the, in the comment section as well, editing like crazy. The third edit is wild. And apparently Dr. Disrespect, if you're going to find that out, he did acknowledge that he uh, messaged in, an individual minor by using that Twitch whisper, which is to those of you that do not know, Twitch whisper is a message to uh, a message. It's a personal message DM, like how it is on Insta and Twitter, right? So he used that service to actually individual to message an individual minor. He edited that part and he just uh, removed the part of minor that people are now finding out. Uh, yeah, so he's. Uh, he dropped that statement but apparently now that we got this email leak as well which we're not entirely sure whether this is real or fake it looks like it's real it, it seems like that there was uh, twitch was trying to actually put the man down so there is that aspect to it i want to be very very clear and, and also they're saying it was a 17 year old uh child minor right uh, some people are saying 17 year old is mature some people are saying no uh it's not mature legally you need to be 18 so there is that aspect to it as well so it, it's literally all over the place i want to know your thoughts as well and also the real question in this one is that did doc know uh did he did he know uh whether that was a 17 year old or not because he did acknowledge that he was messaging so that part is confirmed now okay he was messaging there's no denying it it's pretty shitty to have uh, of course people are bringing the, this up that it's pretty shitty that you had a pregnant wife you cheated on her and then you know you go ahead and actually message people like that i mean uh, girls in this case right so there's that aspect to it but check this talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and i'd never want to jeopardize the culture that we have carefully crafted well, that game studio is done without Doc being there. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Holy. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions oh, behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Damn. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned into too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I have never met the individual. I went through a lengthy uh, arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, I, I want to know your thoughts on this one real quick, right? And yeah, also this email leak, that's also very, very important. It feels like that. And yeah, I, I think that a lot of people will, I, I can definitely see it. A lot of people are going to bring this up that Twitch was trying to put him down. And what if this was Twitch doing? Maybe, maybe that's true. Listen, I, I was not there. I don't know what's, what's going on. This is bigger than that of Area 51 and them aliens, ladies and gentlemen. But another thing that I want to point out here is this, right? That we don't know if Doc knew whether it was a 17-year-old at the time or not. That part is still very vague. That part is still not said. But now you are hearing this from the horse's mouth, right? Now you're hearing this from Doc himself and, and Robert Balling, which is his partner. So he's like, hey, I promise to only act on facts. Uh, if you're inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, which is absolutely fair. I, I totally understand where he's coming from as well, right? Yeah, so now there are a lot more questions that, and these are the questions that I'm seeing online being posted on their Twitter uh, as well. And people are also flaming Doc as well, and everybody's beefing right now. Bro. For the moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's not, that's on me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's on me as an adult, as a husband, as a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking, uh, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I agree. I, I agree. know, I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you, uh, are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on these things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me the worst of 
of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I've needed to say regarding the band itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all of this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout the years. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community in Circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support m me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not oh, the damn. same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. So there Holy you have crap. it. Straight so from the man himself. Dr. Uh -oh. Disrespect. There's a lot to unpack there. There's a yeah. lot. Yeah, going yeah, yeah. on but ultimately yeah especially with this email email leak that threw like a real curveball you feel what I'm saying? Ultimately it goes back to why did your company feel that you were justified in being fired or you claim yeah. you guys were, you know, you guys parted ways, um, you know, on a mutual basis, but that's still, there's still things that don't make sense totally. And again, I'm just going to repeat one more time. I've had people that watch me constantly like, why do you keep repeating this? Because I have fucking retards on Twitter that are still <laughs> saying that I'm a Dr. Disrespect fanboy. And I'm like... I've literally said in every video, I don't watch the guy. I don't yeah. know much about the guy. Yeah. I, I, you just want to know the truth, right? You just want to know the truth. Like the video if you want to just know the truth. Dislike if you just want to know the lies, I guess. And still, it's not... A, of course, Dr. Disrespect has confirmed it. That story is confirmed. Now, a lot of people are also pointing out that... Did, and, and they want to know whether Doc knew about this. Uh, if, if, the, if that person was 17-year-old at the time or not right and this looks very very bad of course it looks bad extremely bad on doc as well but more so than that it looks bad on twitch as well because twitch hit this i believe this is why and, and you guys gotta also understand that doc won the, the the lawsuit as well i guess he won the lawsuit on the basis of twitch be, be, because like twitch was kind of like spying on everybody messages right and that's uh, illegal to do i guess unless you specify unless you disclose it and from my understanding twitch was saying oh no it's fine bro like we're not gonna spy on your twitch whispers the, the messages essentially but hey man the more you know the more you know they were spying and i guess this is this is what doc used to actually sue them and win the lawsuit and that that's my understanding of it and, and yeah this is probably one of the biggest reasons why this story was was actually put deep underground for four years, for the last four years. I've, I've reacted to a couple of his videos over the years. I don't know much about the guy. So that's the reason I keep repeating that because you have retarded people on Twitter that don't do any research whatsoever. And they're so hyper-focused on their hatred of Dr. Disrespect yeah, that true, anybody true. that just says, hey, I'd like to see proof of what the accusations are, kind of think that makes sense. Um, they're, they're just going to lash out at you because they're mentally deranged yeah. lunatics. Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? Yeah, you, we need the proof. And I guess uh, we don't have the proof now, but we got the statement, the official statement, which uh, I would say it's bigger than the, the, the proof. But now we have this email leak as well, so that threw re a real curveball. Yeah, right. Like, I, I want to know which side you're on. Now, it's very clear Doc did it. So there is no defending it at this point. Doc did it. Doc did it. But he's talking about before, because a lot of people are asking for proof. And I was also saying, Doc, like, we, we, Doc, we need, we need the evidence, bro. We cannot literally uh, accuse somebody based on these allegations, because the allegations are just allegations. And how many times we have seen a, a person being accused of, this type of crap and then later on if we find out that he's innocent right it happens all the time so yeah like anybody with a with a brain would say we require evidence oh absolutely there's always a there's always the the true there's always a lie and then there's the real truth in in between as well there's a lot to unpack with all of this but ultimately i want to know specifics uh, first of all 
Doc, you should probably be canceled simply for using Twitter or Twitch whisper messages. Who the hell does that? Bruh. That's a cancelable. That's a that's a cancel offense right there. Using whisper messages. That's a joke. But seriously, whoever used those, I think I saw that I was getting those messages like years ago on Twitch, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Uh, but anyway, what I, I want to know more specifics about that just from a viewer standpoint because yeah, yeah, yeah. he actually yeah. alluded to it did he know this person was underage was this person underage how did that information get delivered to him yada 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 i think those are important details that you know we probably should get oh, more absolutely. clarity on if yeah. there's an opportunity to get that clarity but it's a good response overall Generally speaking, I'll give him credit for a good response overall by giving as many details as he possibly could. What a wild roller coaster this has been. And journalists oh, right here, insanity of all this scenario, you've got Twitch, you've got Dr. Disrespect, and you've got esports journalist. Do you know who looks the worst in this whole situation right now based on the information we have? Twitch. Esports journalist. They oh, yeah. all look okay. the worst. They have ran with this narrative that he was this predator, that he was this horrible person, and yet they have provided no proof to no support proof, those yeah. claims. None whatsoever. Now, does he look like, uh, I mean, he, he looks like a guy who got caught up in some bullshit. I, I don't look to Dr. Disrespect to be my um, moral compass or, or anything like that. Uh, he's just a guy on the internet that plays a fucking character. That's it. I don't know anything about Guy Beam, and I don't give a shit about him. And if you're looking for your social media personality to be uh, a perfect person, I got news for you. It's never going to happen. But what I will say is that the people that are on social media that are constantly projecting that everyone else is a piece of shit and they are the perfect ones and you should be more like them, those are the people you should be most worried about. The people that constantly need to put all of their social justice bullshit in their bios, those are the people you should be most concerned with because those that preach the loudest have the most to hide. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, the, the fact that Doc actually took responsibility as well, Doc is to also blame for that as well he should have known better but but here's the thing though do i believe that he's a predator oh absolutely not i don't think doc's a predator uh, but again I, I don't watch him too much though uh like like he's saying i don't know the guy i don't know anything about him as a real person yeah him cheating on his uh on her uh on her wife yeah absolutely on his wife my bad uh it is disgusting as well or truly is and the the messages i'm not sure what he sent he says no pictures were sent no illegal nothing illegal happened uh, no wrongdoing yeah right it, it's it's very very bizarre charlie also responded by saying holy shies that's actually shocking confirming messaging a minor inappropriately but saying there wasn't any real intent is almost verbatim what people used to say to chris hansen yikes uh, so there's that aspect uh guys says i've always been an upfront guy say it says someone who's playing a character 24 7. now yeah surely like uh, and right now all of this criticism is justified in my honest opinion but also i don't think the guy is a predator though like i don't think he's a predator but again it's one of those things like i don't know man nobody knows i, I want to know your take on this matter as well this is this is insane this we're probably gonna hear a lot more in just <laughs> in in the coming days as well man and, and yeah this email leak we need more information on this email leak as well guys check out this video on the screen because his one of Doc's buddy was also caught cheating, so that also don't look good. In in Call of Duty, by the way, not in real life. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.